Okay, good afternoon everyone. Okay, how are you today? I hope you are all fine. Okay, we are we will continue with the theme financial awareness and consumerism. So I'm going to go with shopping vocabulary today. Okay. All right, you need you will uh have a look at these flashcards. Okay. Okay, there are a few words, so please take note. Okay, the first one is afford. If we say something is affordable, I would like to buy a new phone. So there are many, um, there are many types, there are many price range of, of a mobile phone. So some are quite cheap and some are very expensive. So when you say uh, you want to buy something affordable for you, it means that uh, it fits with your budget. You have that money and it's enough to pay for the item, for the mobile phone. So if you have, uh, let's say 1,000, so you go to the shop and you search for handphones that price within that, um, that cost 1,000 ringgit. If you have more, maybe up to 5,000, you can go to buy iPhone and um it is affordable to you so when we say affordable it depends on that person and that person's money sometimes whatever affordable to you might not be affordable to other people so let's say you can afford an iphone so you think that iphone is cheap but it might not be applicable to other people they might not be able to afford uh the phones All right so afford affordable like in malay we, we also say the mampu atau tak mampu untuk beli dia ada, dia ada duit tu tak ataupun tak cukup duitnya okay next one we have aisle so when you go to the shopping mall okay if you realize there are different sections so they put their say they put the they put the goods or the items in categories for example, if you walk into one lane, uh, there will be biscuits and chocolates, another lane full of canned food, all right, like tuna, canned tuna, uh, carbonara, canned carbonara, can uh, anything in can. So we call it an aisle, okay? Long walkway with items for sale on uh, either side. Right next, we have bag, all right? Either plastic bag or recycled material bags. Okay, where what is baggy? When you try clothes and it's very, very loose, if you have a very thin body, it is baggy, very loose. Okay, bakery, bakery, sorry, bakery, kedai uh, pastries or cakes. And we have barcode. All right, bargain. Look at this word, bargain. So when you uh, when you go to a shopping mall and you see the price is quite good, maybe it's on discount, you can say, that, oh, it's on bargain. It's a very good bargain. Okay? The price of an item that is considered to be a very good value. Next, we have basket. All right, best before. The date before uh, edible item. Edible item. Edible means they boleh dimakan. It can be eaten. So when something can be eaten, we say edible. Like if you order a cake, sometimes we order cake with decorations on top of the cakes. There are many things on top of the cakes. We will ask the person, uh, is this edible? Uh, sometimes they put toys. So it's not edible. Tak boleh dimakan. All right. And we have brand, jenama, okay, butchers, buy, cut machine, okay. Uh, if you see this, uh, we have this a lot nowadays. Uh, your parents might also use this. We have cut machine. Uh, if you don't bring enough cash, you can use a cut machine. This is what we call cash. We don't say money here. Uh, sometimes the the cashier won't ask you. Do you, do you want to pay with money? No, they will ask you cash or card. Whether you want to pay with cash, physical money, 
or use card. All right, so this is a cashier and change, okay, change when you get the balance, okay, usually change, um, usually, usually change is for Baki, eh, All right, uh, sometimes it in coins, All right, cheap, murah, chemist, okay, this is when you go to shops like Watson or Guardian, or sometimes we call the, the pharmacist, All right. They are the pharmacists. They prescribe you medicine if you need some. Check. Um, usually being used for a huge amount. We rarely use check for shopping malls. We have clearance sale. Okay. Clothes, coin. What else? Convenience store. Uh, convenience store. It's like shopping mall but easily accessible. To the general public that sells most things. So, kebanyakan barang tu ada dalam convenience store. We sometimes call 7-Eleven as a convenience store, okay? Right, next. Credit, debit card. Customer, pelanggan, delivery. Okay, if you opt for online shopping, there's a delivery. Discount, sale, discount, estate agent is uh, are the people who sell um, hartana like house, buildings and all. Alright, exchange, bertukar, expensive, faulty. If you get a faulty item, an item which does not satisfy its description or cannot fulfill its purpose. Or uh, sometimes we would just say faulty item is a broken item, barang yang dah rosak, okay? Fit is the, the opposite of loose just now. Fitting cubicle. All right. Uh, cubicle is a small room. But when we say fitting, it is used for changing clothes. In a big shopping mall, we have fitting cubicle. But in a small shopping mall, they just put... Uh, sorry. In a big sh shopping mall, they have fitting room. But small shop, they only have cubicle. Just a small place for you to... Uh, okay, to change your clothes. Okay, florists, selling flowers, gift vouchers. This is very valuable. If you get gift vouchers, hanger, label, loyalty card. I will stop at where we think I, I we should do. Luxury items, open packaging, price, purchase. Purchase is pembelian, eh? an act of providing payment for goods. When you say you purchase something, that means you buy something. So instead of using the word buy, okay, you are form two now, you can start using the word purchase. All right. Purse, quality, queue, receipt, refund, sale. Sales assistance skills. Okay, timbang, penimbang. Security tech. If you buy certain clothes, they have the security tech, the grey things. Self-service. Okay, if you realize, uh, we have this at, I think it's Tesco or Lotus. So, they have a machine. You don't have to queue at the, um, at the cashier anymore. You can just go to the machine and uh use self-service machine to pay for your items you scan it on your own scan everything on your own and you pay it yourself shelf chef is a rock rock here okay chef why they put the the items for display right shop shopper showroom showroom is usually for vehicles for car size stock supermarket all right till Okay, the cash register, sometimes we call it till, okay? When you uh, click, click here, and then the till will open. All right, I think that's all window shopping. All right, window shopping. The act of browsing products without the intention to buy. So if you have no money to buy anything, but you still want to go out, don't worry, you can always go for window shopping. All right, any questions so far? Class, any questions? No, teacher. All right, very good. Now you're going to answer some questions. Okay. Regarding the words, just to test your memories. Okay, 
Now choose the correct definition for the shopping vocabulary. Wait, eh? Oh, wait, I'm stuck. Okay, which one? What is the definition of aisle? A, B, C, or D? Long walkway with item for sale on either side. Long walkway with items for sale on either side. Very good. It's a long walkway. All right, next, fitting cubicle. Okay, fitting cubicle. Anyone? All right. Um, what's the answer for number two? Anyone? Hello, are you all still there? Is it a small room or a shop or a triangular shaped piece of metal? A small room for changing clothes. Yes, thank you so much. These are easy questions. So I at least expect res some response from you. Thank you. All right, expensive. Okay, expensive. The act of browsing products, cari barang, a measurement, ukuran, a time. Or the cost. The cost of something considered to be excessive or unaffordable. Look at D. The word is unaffordable. That means when something is expensive, you cannot afford it. The thing is unaffordable. Okay, that's the meaning of expensive. And last one. Oh, not the last one, sorry. What is the definition of till? A, B, C, or D? You can write your answer in the chat room. Don't keep quiet. Okay, you can write your answer in the chat room. Class, please be more responsive, please. Let's say you are in the class or not. Are you in? Are you here or just join the meet and then you just leave me alone? It's always the same people answer my uh, my questions. Alia, Shamin. Okay, uh, <laughs> All right. Tail is B or D? D. D. A time when most items are reduced, usually due to the shop closing down. That one is clearance, right? D is clearance. Uh, Umaira says, A, yes. Till is a machine. Okay, the cash register. When you go to the cashier, then the click, 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 then. Uh, and then the terbuka. Uh, that thing is a till. Okay, the cash register. A machine used to keep cash received from customers and to provide change if necessary. Thank you. And label. The monetary value of a particular item, an item which does not satisfy its description or cannot fulfill its purpose. I think this B here is faulty. Barang yang rusak. A piece of paper printed with a description and attached to the item. Or a person who ensures a comfortable shopping experience for the customers Usually by serving their needs and informing them of current offers. Which one? C. Very good. Okay. It's C. Next one. What is the meaning of the following definition? A large 
a large shop with many departments which sells a wide range of items so imagine there's a large shop and there are many departments and they sells uh, so many things is it a supermarket till travel agent or refund it's a supermarket <laughs> I, I i have to go do, through this quickly because it's also quiet a rectangular piece of thick pa paper which represents money and can be used to buy goods with the value printed on its front. Have a guess. What is this? Very easy. It's money, but we call it. What is it? Number two. Give me the answer for number two. Quality. Quality is quality barang. This is a piece of paper. Satu helai kertas which represents money. Oh, give voucher. Like, very good. Give voucher. Okay, so you can use the gift voucher to buy things. Uh, usually if you if you go shopping at Jasco, they will give you the voucher like 5 ringgit, 10 ringgit. And so you can use the voucher to buy other things. Okay, next. The price of an item that is considered to be of very good value. Okay, kalau harga, harga dia berbaloi. What is it? What is it? Afford. Afford means you mampu. Means that you can, you have the money. But this one is related to the price. Harga barang tu is to be of very good value. Berbaloi ya. Barang ni dengan harga dia is a, is a very good what do bargain. we call it? Very good. Very good bargain. Okay, it's a bargain. Next, a shop which sells general and personally prescribed medication. Ah, this one is very easy. We don't call it. The answer is medication is ubat-ubatan. In Malaysia, we call it pharmacy. But um, US, they call it chemist. Okay. And last one, a person who visits a shop with the intention of buying an item with or without. With buying the item, so it's not refund. Refund means you pulang balik barang or you get your, your money after you return the things, your item. Scale is timbang, clearance. So a person is a shopper. Right, this one, A, B, C, or D? B. Okay, B, cut machine. This one, what is this? D. D. Delivery, yes. This one? Change. C. C, change. Very good. And this one? Loris. Loris. Yes. And last one. You see. You see. Very good. Okay, right now we are going to do a reading comprehension. Uh, reading comprehension. Okay. I will show you the text, but, but I will also give you the text in your Telegram or in your WhatsApp group. Uh, give me a second. Where is this? Okay, it's this one. Okay. So, have a look first while I send this in your group. Okay. Okay, you can see this clearer. All right. Okay, I cannot uh, send yet. Okay, give me a few seconds. Okay, you can check your Telegram group for to ungrade. 
and sending it now to to Mama. Okay. Okay, if you cannot read this uh, clearly on my screen, you can refer to the document sent uh, in your group. Okay, for now, let's look at the screen first. Okay, can I have a volunteer to read this? Anyone? Me, teacher. Who's that? Me, Noreen Kaira. Okay, Noreen. <clears throat> Shopping is a necessary part of life which very few people can avoid. It is a daily routine for some people. Some people shop for pleasure while other people go shopping just to buy the necessary item in order to survive. The weekend is usually a good time to go shopping because people have free time from work. <clears throat> At this time, the shops are usually very busy because people try to get the best item for the lowest price before the items run out of the stock. Very good. Thank you, Noreen. Are you having a sore throat? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Anyway, still volunteer to read the text for everyone. Okay. Look at some of the words. Uh, shopping can be a pleasure. That means some people go shopping for fun. That uh, they go for fun. They don't really need the things, but they maybe j they they just want to release their stress, to to okay, to have fun with their friends. But some people they go out just to buy necessary items to survive. Okay, this is what we are doing right now during the COVID uh, during the pandemic. We have no choice. We cannot go out to go window shopping. So when we go out for our safety, we can only go out to buy necessary items barang keperluan okay necessary means you really need the things okay and usually people go on the weekend because people have free time uh, if you want to go shopping it is better if you go on weekdays weekdays means monday to friday because sunday to uh, saturday and sunday uh, weekend the weekend will be very busy for the shopping mall and um, people will try to get the best item for the lowest price before the items runs runs out of stock. Means uh, they dah uh, tak ada stock. Okay. It's unavailable. Okay. For you. All right. Next paragraph. Anyone else? Can I say mm -hmm. uh, 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 We have to. Okay. Uh, Alia first. After that, Liza. Okay. Liza next paragraph. Okay. All right. Alia first. Some people go shopping more regularly than other people to browse product in shops even they, even when they not do not have much money. This is known as window shopping and allow people to plan ahead and save for the things that they want to buy in the future or wait for the items to drop in price. Some people spend a lot of time looking for bargains while others do not think the, of the price and are happy to spend a lot. Some people believe that the more expensive the item, the better co the quality. But this is not always true. Insensible to, to buy items which are affordable, but some people use a credit card or borrow money from the bank so that they can buy the items that are they really want to rather than wait for it. All right. Thank you so much, Alia. Okay. If you can see, the second paragraph has a very good point. Okay. They have, uh, we suppose, we are supposed to go shopping when we have money, right? But some people, they don't have money, but they still want to go shopping. All right. Um, okay. Some people go shopping more regularly. Means that they selalu pergi keluar shopping. Maybe every day or every week. Just because to browse products. Even when they do not have much money. Okay, they keep surveying. Uh, they cari barang ni, cari lagi. Go to another shopping mall, another shop. Okay. Uh, this is called window shopping. So when you look at things that you like, you can uh, plan. So after this, I would like to save uh, 
1000 ringgit because I want to buy these things. Okay, so this is the plan for the future. Or maybe they keep going to the shop because they are waiting for the items to drop in price. Okay, they tunggu ada sale uh, ataupun they tunggu harga dia berkurang. Some people spend a lot of time looking for bargains, okay, while others do not think of their price and are happy to spend a lot. Okay, this is uh, this is the rich people, okay, they have too much money, they don't care, they don't bother to look at the price tag, right? Like, I don't know, um, have you ever gone to a shop and look at something you like, you just bring it to the cashier and pay? I have never had that luxury to do that because yeah we, we, are, we are not rich i am not rich so most of the time i will keep looking at the tech first okay i am not happy to spend a lot okay some people believe that the more expensive the item the better the quality but this is not always true i do wrong some people um they think that expensive items are good barang yang mahal tu dia kata bagus quality Okay, it could be true, but not always true. Sometimes you are just buying the same thing, but maybe it is expensive because of the brand. Okay, for example, if you buy a scarf, if you buy um, uh, a scarf to do from two different shops, but it's actually the same material. Kain to do yang sama. But the other one is... Um, Maybe a bit more expensive because of the brand. Okay, jenama dia terkenal. Okay, very well known. Uh, so sometimes it's not really true. Sometimes uh, cheap things also have good quality. So when you go shopping, just make sure that you don't fall into the trap of branding. Okay, sometimes the the the, the famous brand try to um bring up increase their their price just because they are very popular it is sensible okay sensible means it's a benda betul lah to buy items which are affordable benda yang kamu mampu beli apa yang kamu mampu but some people use a credit card or borrow money from the bank so they can buy the items they really want rather than wait for it Okay, this is very important. Okay, when you grow up, try not to get a credit card just to buy things that you don't have money for. Okay, credit card could be a good thing but most of the time they are not good. Okay, it is not good. Okay, if you don't have money, it's better if you save your money to buy the things instead of uh, making debt to the debt, D-E-B-T, eh, berhutang, making debt to the bank. Okay. So I would like to highlight the pronunciation of that. This is hutang eh. Uh, uh, it's a silent B. There's no B sound there. Alright, uh, this is the last. Okay, the last paragraph. Uh, Lisa just now. You can start Lisa. Okay. Sometimes shopping can be stressful when choosing a gift to buy other people for a special occasion. Is it common to buy a gift voucher? So that a friend or loved one can go shopping themselves at their own convenience. Shopping online is often popular with people who have a busy lifestyle. People are able to order their necessary and luxury items from the comfort of their own home. Or even on the move. Delivery is usually free and items are often cheaper than in shops on the high street. The only real problem is that the item description and quality may be different than what they hope for. This could mean the customer may become disappointed with the item they receive and will need to return it at their own cost. People who go to shops to do their shopping often use self-service payment machine. This usually saves time as the shopper does not need to join a long queue. However, it can be frustrating when the machine has a problem and the self-assistant is not always available to help. All right. Thank you, Lisa. Okay. So, it can be stressful when choosing a gift to buy for other people. Uh, for example, if you want to buy a birthday gift, you don't know what to buy. I find it's very difficult to buy gifts for guys, for boys, or for men, right? 
uh, usually just go for t-shirts, new t-shirts, new shoes. Like for girls, we can buy so many things, perfume, a dress, a scarf, what else? So many things, a brush. Okay. Uh, so when you have no idea of what to buy, you can just get him or her a gift voucher. So a gift voucher, uh, your friend or that person, when 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 he or she receive a gift voucher for, from you, they can go shopping on their own so they can buy whatever they want with the gift voucher. Okay, gift voucher is a uh, is quite popular. For, but you will have to buy it from the shop itself. So, for example, if you go to Cotton On um, and you buy 50 ringgit gift voucher card and you give it to your friend as a birthday gift, so your friend, uh, whenever he or she is free, can go to Cotton On and find any clothes that they want. Okay, it's, it saves you a lot of time and a lot of headache. For, of choosing uh, gifts. All right, next is shopping online. Okay. Shopping online is uh, popular with people who are busy. They are able to order their necessary, okay, necessary items means barang keperluan and also luxury items from the comfort of their own home or even on the move. Delivery is usually free and the items are often cheaper then in shops on the high street. Okay, if you get good website, you can get free delivery and maybe cheaper from buying at the store. The only real problem is that the item description and quality may be different than what they hope for. Okay, this is very obvious, especially in terms of the color. I really hate this because I am very choosy about colors. So when the item arrives does not have the same color as it's shown in the website, I will feel I will feel very irritated. So this is one of the major drawbacks for me about online shopping. Uh, so when the customer become disappointed with the item they receive and will need to return it at their own cost. So when there is a faulty or you don't like the item, you have to uh, send the item back but you have to use your own money so it will increase the cost for the item actually all right next for people who go to shops they do use self-service payment machines that i explained to you just now because it saves time from the long queue however it can be frustrating when the machine has a problem and the sales assistant is not always available to help all right now there are five questions Right, uh, it's clearer, it's, it's easier if you can uh, open the text in your book. There are five questions here. I'll give you five questions. There are easy ones, three minutes, okay. Why is the weekend a good time to go shopping? All right. Find the answer for number one first. A, B, C, or D. You can write down your answer in the chat room. Or you can let me know the answer by turning on your mic. The answer is D. People are free from work. Yes. So when they are free, they can go shopping. Number two, thank you, Alia. What are people doing when they go shopping just to have a look and not to buy? Just to have a look, not to buy. Very easy, this question. Window shopping. Very good, window shopping. Okay. What do some people usually think about items of better quality? Some people, eh, not everyone think of this. Are they say yeah. better quality, cheaper, harder to find, more expensive or on sale? They are more expensive. More expensive, very good. All right, number four. When can shopping be stressful? 
shops about to close, very busy, buying gift for someone or on the weekend. Just now, the last it, paragraph. It, yes. What's the answer? A. The answer is in the last paragraph. Just now, yang Lisa baca jadi. Sometimes shopping can be stressful when choosing a gift to buy other people for a special occasion. So the answer is. What's the answer number four? C. Yes, C. Buying gift for someone. All right, last one. Is there sometimes a problem with online shopping? Okay. This one, I think you can answer it on your own. A, B, C, and D. Shops are open. Quality description. Too many queues. Queues is barisan beratu, eh? Or is there no problem at all about online shopping? B. Hmm? B. Yes, very good, Lisa. With, yes, there is a problem with online shopping, especially with the quality and description of the item. All right, after this, please do this in your book. Eh? You don't have to copy the text. We just have to do the questions here. All right, last part before we end. Uh, after this, we have a school holiday. So, after the school holiday, I would like to listen to some presentation. We haven't done this in a very long time, remember? Okay, so I have four topics. And I would like two from two angry. And two, and two from uh, two mama, two groups. Eh? When I say uh, two groups, that means four people. Oh my God, I lost. Where is it? Wait, I, I'm looking for the, I've done it. Hmm, it's not here. Okay. Yeah, where is it? Where did I put it? It's not here. Okay, I'm just going to type the question because I lost the slide. Okay, for number one, you need to present about the advantage of online shopping. Okay, number two. What is the advantage? What is the advantage? Color? Kelebihan. So, apa kekurangan in English? Disadvantage. Very good. Disadvantage. Number two, the disadvantage of online shopping. Number three, the benefits of in-store shopping. And last one, how to shop online safely. Okay. So you choose uh, those who have not done this yet. Eh? Siapa yang belum pernah buat lagi? Because last time kita dah buat about health and about lifestyle kan? So this one about uh, shopping. Oh yeah, last time we do about like, uh, health and also online safety. Right. Who have not done it yet? I let you to volunteer now. Alright, for two mawa, I can help you. Okay, Alia, uh, you have not done this before, right? Uh, Alia from two mawa, you have not done this before. Okay, for two mawa, uh, for your information, this will be your PBD marks. Okay, so if you do good, I will definitely uh, raise up your marks for your PBD. Because this is part of the assessment anyway. Macam speaking test lah. But it's not uh, the, the prompt to, the prompt, impromptu speaking. You have time to prepare, you have time to practice and all. Okay, Alia, after this you choose one partner. Eh? Which topic that you want? One, two, three or four. You can look at the chat room. Who else? 